Hey everyone, it's Meg from Creative Cove and today I'm going to be showing you an incredibly useful Notion feature and that is recurring tasks. I'll be covering everything from the basics to more advanced options, so stick around to become a Notion task master. Before we dive in, let's make sure that we understand what recurring tasks are. So these are tasks that automatically regenerate at specified intervals, helping you stay on top of your ongoing responsibilities. So you can use recurring tasks for things like daily journaling, weekly reviews, or even monthly bills. It's all about automating your to-do list to save you time and mental energy. So now that you understand what recurring tasks are, let's jump into some examples. So here is the example. So as you can see, it is a task list. So in this first column, we have the name of the task. We then have a checkbox so that we can check the task off once it's complete. And this column here is the creator time. So you're going to understand more about that in a second when I explain how recurring tasks work. So this task list utilizes recurring tasks to auto generate the tasks that you see here. So some of these tasks like the daily meeting, that's something that I do every single day. So the task list is automatically going to generate this page for me every single day. And then when I've completed the task, I can tick it off here. Some of the other tasks on this list, like get car cleaned, are things that I wouldn't necessarily do every single day. Maybe getting my car cleaned is something that I would do once every two weeks. So what I've done here is I've generated a recurring task for getting car cleaned, but I've set it to appear once every two weeks and it will auto generate that task once every two weeks. The recurring tasks are also really versatile. So you can set them to occur on specific days of the week, you can have it skip every two days, you can have it every other month, you can have it once a year, once every five years, you can really play around with it to create something that really suits your needs. And then I also do have a calendar tab as well. So this is where it will just show all of the tasks on your task list, but on the actual calendar. So it's a nice way just to visualize the month ahead and the tasks that you need to complete. So next I'm going to show you how to set up a recurring task using this database as an example. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is type in forward slash database and select database inline. I'm then going to name this task list and I'm going to click on these three dots and just hide the database title. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name of this column from name to task task because that's where I'm going to actually input the name of the task that I have to do. And I'm also just going to delete this default tags property just by clicking on it and hitting delete property. The first thing we're going to do is add a checkbox property. So I'm just going to click on here and type in checkbox and select checkbox. And this one I'm going to label done as this is going to be the checkbox that I use to tick off once I've completed the task. I'm then just going to pull this a little bit smaller so I can just see the checkbox. I am also just going to change the name of this tab here by clicking on it and selecting rename. I'm just going to call this one my tasks. And I'm also just going to change the icon here as well just to a check mark. And the next thing we're going to do is add a created time property. So I'm just going to click on this plus here and type in created time and select this. So this created time property is really important if you want to show your tasks on a calendar. So because we're using the recurring tasks feature, we do need to have a way of finding out which day the task was created so we can put it on the correct day on the calendar. If you're not interested in using the calendar at all, then you can just skip this step. And then I am just going to delete these rows as these are just blank auto generated rows that we don't need. So I'm just going to hit delete. And then the next thing we're going to do is start by adding our first task. So to add a new task, what we're going to do is we're going to hover up here where it says new and click on this little arrow point downwards and select new template. So up here in the title, we're going to write the name of the task. So just as an example, I'm going to have walk dog and then just going to add a little icon here of just a cute little dog. So once you've filled in the details here, I'm then going to click back. And here we are back on our task list. I'm then just going to hover over here again and click on the arrow again. So here you'll find the template that we've just created, which is walk dog. So next I'm going to click on these three little dots here and select repeat. And in this case, I want to walk my dog every single day. So I'm going to select every day. This is then going to give me a few different options. So firstly, it's coming up saying it's going to repeat every one day. So that's essentially just every single day. So just as an example, let's say that I have, I don't know, a brother that is going to walk the dog half of the time. So maybe I only want it to generate every other day. So I could simply change this number to two so that this would generate every two days or every other day. In this example, I am just going to keep it as every one day because I want to do it every single day. Next, you can select the start date for this task. So this will usually auto generate to the current day. So if, for example, you wanted to start from next week, you could just click on here and just select the appropriate date. Next, it will ask you at what time you want this task to generate. So it will automatically usually come up with midnight on this day. I tend to leave it at midnight because it's nice to be able to wake up and all of your tasks for that day have already been generated. But if, for example, you want to set it to a specific time like 12 p.m. or 9.30 or whatever, you can just input the time here and you can select the time zone here. This should automatically come up with your current time zone. But if it doesn't, then you can just click on here and select the appropriate time zone. 
And just here at the bottom, it will then tell you when it is next gonna be generated. So I do just wanna show you how it's gonna appear when it's generated. So I am just gonna change the time here to a minute from now. So I'm just gonna put 11.32 and hit save. So I'm just gonna wait a few seconds and the walk dog task should appear on this task list. And there we go. So as you can see, the walk dog just appeared um, and that's because I set the time to 11.32. When I said it, it was 11.31, so obviously when it hit 11.32, it auto-generated this. And with the current settings at 11.32 a.m. every single day, it would automatically generate this walk dog entry on my task list. Next, I want to show you another example of how you can set a task to appear every weekday, but not on weekends. So let's go back over here and click on this arrow again and we're gonna add a new template. So this one I'm gonna call daily work meeting. And I'm also so just going to set an emoji as well and click back and again click on the down arrow the three dots and repeat so assuming that you work some sort of standard Monday to Friday job, you might have a daily work meeting, but as you can imagine, you probably only want that to show up on weekdays and not on weekends. So to be able to do that, we're gonna select every week and it's gonna bring up these options. So firstly, it's gonna ask me if I want it to repeat every single week. So if I put one in here, it will automatically generate it every week. If for some reason you wanted it to only generate every other week or every three weeks, you can just change the number in here. So then it comes up with this little selector for the days of the week. So this is where you can select which exact days of the week you want this task to appear. So obviously in this case, I'm just gonna select Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and I'm gonna leave Saturday and Sunday blank so that it doesn't generate on those days. Again, you can select the date that you want this to start and the time. I'm just gonna leave this one as midnight and today. And again, at the bottom, it will then tell you when this is next gonna generate. So it currently says it's gonna generate tomorrow at midnight, and then I can click save. So now that we've done that, that task is gonna generate every single morning on on just weekdays. And then the final example I'm gonna show you is how to set something to generate every other week. If I just go up here again and click the down arrow, a new template, this one is gonna be get car cleaned and I'll just select an emoji. Click again on the down arrow and the three little dots and select repeat. So this one I want to repeat every two weeks. So I'm gonna select every week. Firstly, I'm gonna change this number here to two. So it's every two weeks I want you to repeat this. And here I can select which day of the week I want that to fall on. So let's just say I prefer to get my car cleaned on Friday. So I'm gonna select Friday and today is Tuesday, which is why it's already auto selected Tuesday. So I'm just gonna unselect that. So with these settings, it's just gonna show up every two weeks on a Friday. It'll still bring up the start date as today, but if you actually look in when it's next gonna show up, up, it is currently bringing up the 8th. I said it's Tuesday, the 8th is going to be Friday, so it is going to bring it up firstly on this Friday and then it will show two weeks after that Friday. So I'm happy with those settings, so I'm going to click save. So I just wanna show you some of the other options in here. So I'm just gonna click on this one again and select repeat just so I can show you the other options that are available. So as well as weekly, you can also repeat monthly. So here it's gonna ask you how many months you want to skip before it shows up. So for example, this current settings mean that the get car cleaned would come up once every two months. So you could change that to once every six months, once every nine months. It's really up to you. It's very customizable. There is also an option for repeat yearly. So this one is currently saying we want to repeat every nine years if you really wanted that setting. You could get it repeat once a year by putting every one year. And another customization that I really like is going back to repeat daily. You can put any amount of days in here that you'd like. So if you have a really irregular task that just doesn't fit well within any of the others, you can come in here and say you want to repeat it every 65 days. You can just put every 65 days and it would be able to repeat it for you every 65 days. And then I do just want to also show you how you can create a calendar view of this task list. So these are our tasks on here. I'm just gonna click on this my tasks and click duplicate. And I'm gonna label this one calendar. I'm then just going to click on the layout here and change it to a calendar. So with the settings that we already have, it should auto generate this by the date that it was created. So as you can see on this date, we already do have these specific tasks. If I just click the back button here and select properties, I can also show this little complete a checkbox on here. So if I click that button there, it will unhide it. And then you have a calendar view where you can tick off your tasks if you want to. Another little handy feature that you might want to add is that when you tick off a task from your list, you might want it to disappear here from the list else you'll probably end up with a really long list of tasks. So one way that you can do that is by clicking up here and selecting filter and you want to filter by the complete checkbox and then you want to select when complete is unchecked. So that therefore will only show tasks where the checkbox has not been checked. So essentially tasks that you haven't done yet. So now whenever I tick off one of these tasks it will disappear from the list. 
Another great use case for recurring tasks is using a habit tracker. So I'm gonna show you just quickly how you can create a habit tracker using recurring tasks. So let's create a new database. I'm just gonna type in forward slash database inline and I'm gonna name this one habit tracker. And I'm just gonna click on these three dots and hide the title. I'm also just gonna rename this as well to habit tracker and I'll just change the icon as well. I am just gonna delete these rows here and just delete the tags as well. So the habit tracker is gonna allow us to set habits that we want to check off every day and using the recurring tasks feature, we can get it to auto generate the habits every day so that we don't have to manually add them every day, which is really handy. So we're gonna go up here and click on the little down arrow and add a new template. This one I'm gonna name daily habits and I'm just gonna select an icon as well. So next I'm gonna add a property here and this one is gonna be a checkbox. And this is where I'm gonna input the name of the actual daily habits that I want to track. So let's say one of them is drink water. Let's add another one. Let's say this one is take vitamins. So as you can see, I've added a checkbox on here for every habit that I want to complete every single day. And then I just want to add one more property and this one is gonna be that created time property. So just type in created time and select this one. Again, this is just important so that you can use the calendar feature. And I'm just gonna drag the created time and put it to the bottom. And then just gonna click back again. And then I'm gonna click again on the arrow, the three little dots and select repeat. And we want this to repeat every single day. So I'll select every day and just make sure that it says every one day. I've then just put the time as 11.45 as it's currently 11.44. So I want this to auto generate. So if I just wait a second, it should generate in a moment. So as you can see, it's just appeared here on the list. Um, I am then just gonna change this to a calendar view rather than a table. So if I click on the three dots, select layout and change it to calendar. As you can see, our daily habits is appearing today on the calendar. I'm then just gonna click this little back arrow and select properties. And I'm just gonna unhide all of these checkbox properties by selecting this little symbol next to it. So as you can see, we now have this on the calendar. So essentially how this works now is this little box with your habits on it is gonna auto generate every single day. So every day you can come to this calendar and it will auto generate one of these little boxes on the appropriate day. And you can just tick off each day when you've completed each habit. So it's a really great way to ensure that you are setting appropriate habits and actually completing them. So the recurring task is a really great feature and I'm so glad that Notion have added it, but there are still some limitations to it. So the main limitation is that you can only see the templates when they're actually created. So you can't look ahead and see upcoming tasks. This is because the template actually gets created on the day of the event. So you can't see them on the task list or the calendar view beforehand. So if we just look here on this calendar view, so these are the tasks that I had today. If you remember this daily meeting was something that we do every single weekday, but as you can see, it doesn't show up on the other days. It will just automatically generate on the morning of the day so it's a little bit awkward that you can't look ahead and see what tasks you have coming up you just have to check on the day to see what has appeared and that's it that's how you can create recurring tasks in notion if you found this video useful please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button you can also check out my pre-made notion templates on my store the link will be in the description box below